Hi again. So we have reached exercise two, which is the calculation of polynomial of degree n. So we have a polynomial uh, p of x of degree n, and we have a float variable, or which is x, and we need to find the value of p of x. So we need to read the, the n, which is the number of coefficients, and the coefficient a and a zero. Uh, that should be entered on the keyboard and stored as a float array. So the, the array is here is a float, and the array is of dimension n plus 1, which is obvious because you have elements from 0 to n. And then we need to calculate the value of p of x using power. So we'll calculate this expression. So this is easy. And the second one is using the Horner schema. So we'll do also that. So let's start. So we need an array. So uh, uh, it's called uh, uh, A here. So it's float also. So float. A. So again, I have I will use a constant called size. So if you uh, followed me in the first exercise, you will know what size is. And if not, so you can recheck the first exercise, and you can find the uh, description, the link of the of the video on in the description of this video. So we'll start with float. So we need uh, the effective size, which is equal to n. Um, we need also uh, a counter to loop. And uh, we need the value for x and the value for the polynomial, which is equal to p. So first we need to read uh, n. So n uh, should be, uh, so the degree could be equal to 0. So uh, we'll, we'll read n. So print f, enter uh, n, scan f, percentage t, address of n. So as long as n is strictly less than 0, or n is greater than size. So even if we use size here, so if we if we enter 50, so we need to to, to pay attention that uh, uh, if the polynomial is, uh, is of size 50, I need to enter 51 elements. So maybe it's it's uh, 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 more convenient to write a size uh, minus one. So if size is equal to 50. I can enter 50 coefficient, not 51 coefficient. And the coefficient in the polynomial it starts from zero. So we need to pay attention to that. So, and then we need to enter the value of x and we need to enter the coefficient. So let's uh, uh, read x. So x, there's no restriction on the value of x. So it could be any float number. So uh, print f enter x. So it's a float. So it's an LF. LF, it means I will read x here. And then uh, float it's f or lf depends so f or ld for double so and then we will read the coefficient so the coefficient i have n plus one coefficient or n coefficient so i will start from zero i less than or equal here so it, you should pay attention because we have n plus one i plus plus And we'll do the scan f, so print f enter coefficient. I will write just that a of percentage d. So here we'll start from zero, so I will keep it as i and scan f percentage uh, f address of a of i. So we have read all the uh, uh, coefficient. Now we need to do the calculation. So we'll start with the first part, which is using the uh, power calculation. So here is the, cal the 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 formula. So we will we need to loop so either from zero to n or from n to zero. And with each time, I will I will use so it's it's a summation. So it's sum in between. We have we will should multiply a of i multiple power of x to n to i. So so i would move from 0 to n each time we'll multiply a of i multiple the power of x to i so it's easy so for i will copy this so we will loop and we'll do the summation so i have here the uh, p so it start p starts from 0 and in p i will add so i may just make sure that p is is uh, float so it's okay, it's float. I will uh, multiply a of i multiple power of x i. And uh, this is it. As easy as that. So this is the uh, first part. And I will print f. Uh, so the value of the polynomial 
for x equal percentage point to f is equal again percentage point to f backslash and the first one is the value of x and the second one is p so let's run it so i don't have an example here uh, with return time default to end so we have end here okay stop So let's enter, for example, uh, degree equal to 2. We went enter x 0 0.4. The first coefficient, let's say 1.5 minus uh, 0 0.5 and 2. And we'll end up for something like this. So let's place here. Done. So for the, the, the value would be equal to 1.62. You can check that out. So, Let's now uh, do the second part. So I will command this and uh, we'll do the second part. So for the second part, we need to use the uh, Horner scheme. So as you can see, uh, uh, the coefficient a of n is multiplied by x. So this is the one iteration is to multiply a of i multiple x and we add the previous element. So it's always like that. I have the value of the polynomial for example here i have p i should multiply it by x and add the element at the previous iteration so what we will do that is that here we will move not from 0 to n so we can move from 0 to n i will do the both uh, ways so we can move from n to 0 and at each iteration so i have the value of p which is cumulative i will multiply it with x and add the previous element so Again, and p will start from 0. However, here for I will start i from the last element and I will go back. So as long as i is greater or equal than 0, I will do i minus minus. So at each iteration, I will add to p. So let's go back. So I have the, the oldest value. So look it at here. So I have here a value, which is the oldest p. I will multiply it by x and then add the element. So, it's P multiple X plus A of I. So, let's, let's see it, uh, run it a little bit. So, at first, we have P is equal to 0. So, for I equal to N, for I equal to N, I have P equal P plus P multiple X plus A of Y. So, at first, I have P equal to A of N. For I equal to N minus 1, let us see what I have. So, in P, I will have P plus. So, I have a here. So, I don't have plus here. So, it's directly. In P, I have P multiple X, which is now P is equal to A of N. Multiple X plus A of N minus 1. The next iteration for I equal N minus 2. What I will have? I will have P equal. So, it's all these multiple x so it's all these multiple x and i will add a of i which is a of n minus 2 so as you can see we will end up with the same structure like here and whenever we add it so each time i will multiply p with x and add the current value so this is uh, one solution if i want to start from n and go uh, to 0. If I want to start from 0, it will not be uh, possible. However, you can rewrite it like this. So it will be the same uh, loop. So I will start always from the n. So I will start from, counter will start from 0. So i is less than or equal to n i plus plus. What I can do that is I'll do that. However, I will start from n minus i. So again, so for i equal to 0, I will start from n. For i equal to 1, I will start from n minus 1. So I will end up with the same uh, formula. So let's uh, uh, try it just for once. So for i equal to 0, in P, I will have a of n. For i equal to 1, I will have P equal, so the oldest value of P, multiple x, as, a, as it's written here, plus a of n minus i, a of n minus 1. So we have end up 
So I will not continue here. So it's the same. It's the same output as here. So either you can start. So it's more of it's more clear and it's more understandable if you start from n and you go back to zero. However, you can start from zero and n, but you need to pay attention to the manipulation of the uh, indices here. So let's remove this. So at the end, I have the same output because I'm just outputting uh, p. So uh, I will enter the same values to uh, 0 0.4. So I need to remember these two. So uh, it's a small i to 0 0.4, 1, I, 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 1.5, I think. OK. OK, we will end up with a value like this. So we can check it. So and this is it for this exercise. So what we have learned here just about the uh, uh, calculation. So and the new here is that we have started from the end and uh, go back to the first element of the array. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.